it is time for another thrift video! Okay, so this is a smallish thrift haul, but I wanted to do it in keeping with my trying to keep up with videoing for you guys because I have so much to catch up on. This is a mini-ish haul, but it is a good one. There's lots of dollies. So what I'm gonna do is just move the bag, get it out of the way, and just get on into it. So here we go. I went to the Salvation Army and the Goodwill and Value Village. So first, I'm gonna show you the only thing that I got at the Salvation Army is this cute little sweet sad bunny. You know me, well, if you've not watched my videos, you don't. But I have a bunny obsession little mini and it was $1.99 but green tags were half off so it made it only 99 cents and it is well it's not broken anymore because it's been repaired but it was broken at one time and I just thought it was super cute I thought to myself since it's not painted that well but it is so cute that I could probably repaint it and make it much cuter so I thought it would be a cute little project for me plus I love bunnies and I just couldn't resist it for only a dollar so I grabbed it Next, I popped into Goodwill and they only had one thing that I wanted, which is this beautiful dolly. And she's got fuzzies in her hair. But when don't they have fuzzies in their hair? She was only 99 cents from the Goodwill. And she has this really pretty necklace on and earrings. I thought these were really, really nice. And I love her face. She has really pretty nice hair despite the fuzzies that are in it. And she is from, let's see. It says 1987 on her head and 66 on her body. And she also has her ring, which I thought was awesome. She has bend and snap knees. They both work really, really well. No chews, no nothing bad. And I just thought she was absolutely gorgeous. Love the purple eye makeup, love her face. I think this is a Chrissy face, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I just couldn't resist her. I had to grab her for only 99 cents. Last store I went to was the Value Village or Value World, whatever. And I got some baggies of dollies from there. And the first bag I got was $4.34. So I'm just gonna open it up and show you what I got. First is this Rapunzel. She's really dirty and she has the molded on top. And I'm not that big of a fan of her, so she will probably just get redonated. But she says 2009 on her head and 2012 on her body. And needless to say, I didn't grab the bag for her. So, you know, I don't feel bad about it. And I can't keep every doll that I get when they're in bags like that. But this girl will definitely get a makeover first. I will not give her back in this awful state of dirtiness before I either give her back or try and sell her. So she'll be good. Next girl in the bag is this pretty lady. Also didn't really grab the bag for her, but I did think that I could use her as a body donor if I wanted to. You know, I'm not crazy about her face, but I don't dislike it. But I have a lot of dolls that are like the Rapunzel over there that have molded on stuff and I don't like those bodies. So I do head swaps for the heads that I like more on the bodies like this. So she is 1998 on her head and 2009 on her body. And she's all good, you know, she's got the articulated knees and no chews or anything. So she's pretty and all, but like I said, she'll probably be used for a body donor. This girl is the reason I bought the bag. She is so gorgeous, y'all. She says 1991 on her head and she has the 1966 body with the straighter arms. She has her ring still with fuzzes around it. And she has her earrings and this little um, like choker. And she's got like a feather on her back, which makes me think that she was like fancy, you know, that she had some kind of fancy outfit because she just has a really pretty face. She has these like aqua tealy blue eyes that are really pretty and this really pretty berry lip color. She also has bend and snap knees. They both work really well. No chews on the hands, no chews on the feet. So she is absolutely gorgeous and I love her. Can't wait to fix her up. Her hair is nice. And I did forget to say, the hair on this one isn't bad. The hair on that one is really nice. The hair on the Rapunzel is awful. It has blue seepage and all kinds of like ratted nest, but I'll fix it anyway. This one is why I bought the bag and I'm so happy with her. I'm so glad that I scored her on that day. So yay, dollies. Next bag was just $2.92 and I'm gonna open it up and show you what I got. First is this cute little skipper. She says 1984 on the back of her head and 1987 on her body. 
She has bend and snap knees, that one. They both work, but just not very well. She doesn't have any chews on her hands. She has a little bit of paint on her feet. She's grubby, and I'm pretty sure these clothes are homemade of some sort, and they don't fit her very well. Her hair, I can't tell. It might have been cut. It might not have been. Some of these older skippers did have short hair. I can't tell for sure, but she's not the reason I grabbed the bag, but she is cute, and I do like her, so I will probably keep her and put her in some kind of cute outfit, fix her hair up and all that goodness next girl in the bag is this cutie and I am not sure but I believe she is one of the high school musical dolls not sure she has 2007 on her head and 2001 on her body and when I was looking I realized she had another shirt on underneath this shirt I knew this wasn't her shirt but this could be her shirt and her little like capri pants so if it is and somebody out there knows please let me know and I believe this top is Barbie. It's made really nice. I don't see a tag though, but we'll see. It's super cute. I just thought she was adorable. Loved her little face. Super unique. And she looked like she had nice hair, which she does. And bend and snap knees. Those work pretty well. No chews, no chews. Super duper cute. Loving her. Can't wait to fix her up and put her in my collection. Last girl in the bag is this beautiful Cinderella. Her hair is a brick, but it is still in its original style, I am assuming. She has a really pretty unique face. She still has, from what I can tell, most of what she should have besides her shoes. She has her dress and her little choker, and she doesn't have spot for earring or rings, so I think she has all she's supposed to have. Let's see. It just says Disney on her head and $19.99 on her body. Now she has bend and snap knees. And I think, yeah, I think this, does it say? Yeah, it says Disney on the tag there. And now she has wonky feet. And now I fixed this a million times in my videos. And I don't know if anybody realizes how easy it is to do, but they look so broken when they're like that. And they just need a little convincing back the right way and they're usually fine see not too bad this one foot has some shoes on it so I might be able to fix that by doing the boiling water treatment but it's not too bad and if I put a shoe on it you probably couldn't tell and she's now I'm covered in sparkles because this dress is all sparkly but I just I really liked her face I thought she was really pretty and she's the reason her and the little um maybe high school musical girl back there are the reason I grabbed the bag so super happy to have these can't wait to fix them up and put them in my collection now the last bag was $4.94 and what a bag guys I'm gonna open it up and show you what I got first girl is this one now normally I'm not too crazy about these ones with the molded on stuff I would probably want to do a body swap and get her off this body, but she does have articulated knees, which, you know, it's kind of like, eh. So if maybe I can figure out a way to cover this up, it wouldn't bother me so much because she does have a really pretty face. I do like her face a lot. And she does have at least one bent arm and one straight arm, so she's not completely, you know, like stiffy having the um, articulated knees and stuff. She says 2011 on her head, 2015 on her body. So I'll probably keep her. I just don't know what I'm gonna do with her yet. If I'm gonna keep her like this or if I'm gonna body swap her, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Next, I got this WWE girl and I don't have any of these because, you know, I wasn't that crazy about, you know, how they looked, but she was in the bag and I love red hair. And I thought, well, her face isn't too bad. I just, I'm not sure how I feel about the bodies. They're a little disproportionate. The head looks too small to the bodies. I don't mind a curvier body or a more muscular body. It's just the head doesn't look like it's in proportion to me is all. It just looks too small. But you know, I do like her. And she says 2017 on her neck and 2017 on her back and it says WWE on her neck as well and she is all fully articulated at the elbow and wrist and you know she has the full rotation and she has the hip movement and the knee joint so that is pretty cool so she is my first WWE doll and I do like her like I said I just wish they looked more in proportion is all that bothers me so there's her WWE girl I don't know which one she is so if you know you can let me know please 
And last, but certainly not least, I got a Mycene Boy. I am so excited, you guys. I don't have any Mycene Boys. I only have like three, maybe four Mycene Girls. And when I saw him in the bag, I was like, oh my God, he has really nice hair. I don't know, maybe it was cut, who knows. He's all articulated. I am so happy to have him. He's got articulation at the knees and elbows. And he just says Mattel on the head and 1999 on his body. So yay, love my scene. He has such a cool face, loving him. Can't wait to fix him up and add him to my collection. Well, y'all, that's all. I believe this is my eighth thrift haul, which I didn't say at the beginning because it's getting hard to keep track now of 2021, but I'm super glad to have all these dolls and I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I hope that everyone watching is well, happy and safe, and that everything good that's in this life that can come to you, I just really, I hope it will. I have to say great big old huge subscriber love to all you lovely subscribers. Thank you so much. The numbers just keep going up. I can't tell you how great it is to have our great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family growing like it is and that you guys just like me for who I am makes me feel great. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. You guys really are the best. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? We do everything Dolly silliness, Dolly fun, Dolly greatness every day here that I possibly can. I'm always doing Dolly silliness behind the scenes, whether I'm posting videos or not for you guys. I am loving this, loving that you guys are coming along this great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family with us and going on this journey, seeing where it takes us and having fun along the way. So if you want to subscribe, please do because everyone is always welcome here and we would love to have you. Well, that's all for this thrift haul. So you know what I'm going to say. Bye, y'all.